So AI search is growing, right? And you're ranking there just fine. But are you sure you're ranking there just fine? Is all of your content there? Are you using JavaScript rendering and client-side rendering to make sure that your content shows up? Do you know if the AI bots and AI platforms can actually see that content? If you're unsure of that, you're definitely gonna to wanna to watch this video. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any future videos. Okay, today I'm going to cover a really important topic, and I think it's one that site owners just really aren't paying attention to. There's no real easy way to test for it, and I think they may be just thinking, hey, I'm ranking in AI search and you know, across ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, and others, um, without really testing that. So recently I dug in for a site that was potentially having problems ranking in AI search. You know, in ChatGPT and Perplexity, uh, they weren't showing up uh, the right way. The treatment of the, of the results weren't correct for them. Um, it was just weird, so I just decided to dig in. Spent a bunch of time, dug in, and I'm really glad I did. So that's the topic of my post, um, which I uh, published on Monday morning. Um, it's called AI Search and JavaScript Rendering, How Client-Side Rendering Causes Visibility and Ranking Problems in ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, and others. So the first thing I wanted to cover was um, a blog post or an article published by Vercel uh, where they covered that the JavaScript rendering problems across AI platforms. So this was kind of eye-opening for a lot of people in the industry because, again, we don't really have an easy way to test this. We don't have Google Search Console, big webmaster tools. You can't really dig in and see, you know, the cache of a, of a page, you know, inside um, an AI platform or anything like that. So them coming out and saying OpenAI, Anthropic, which is Claude, um, Meta, uh, Perplexity, can't see JavaScript rendered content, that's kind of like a really big problem for some sites. Um, some sites are publishing partial content of their pages via JavaScript. That's probably the way to go. Only use it when needed. Even Google will tell you that. But others, um, like the site that I was testing, published all of the page content everything, including navigation, footer, main content, supplementary content, everything through JavaScript. If you turn JavaScript off, the page is literally blank, right? Now, again, for Google and Bing, they could render JavaScript. I'm not saying that's still the way to go where you're rendering everything through JavaScript. It's not. But at least, you know, Google and Bing could pick that up. It could, you know, be indexed and, and rank as well. But for AI platforms, Vercel is basically saying that's not the case. So I decided to dig in pretty heavily. Uh, so the first signs of trouble with the site I was uh, testing, I saw Babicons were not showing up properly. There were also citation problems. So I cover that here. Here's what the Favicons look like, basically blank. Um, I wrote a whole post, by the way, about um, Favicons not showing up in Google search correctly. Um, there's a whole process that you need to go through to debug that, which I have on my blog. Um, but this is, again, in ChatGPT, Perplexity, and other AI platforms. So here's Perplexity, again, generic, globe, uh, favicon, not really showing up correctly. The other thing was is that uh, for targeted prompts, the site was not showing up in the core citations, right? So it was showing up in the more section in ChatGPT, also without a favicon, right? Um, then it was also showing up in perplexity under the reviewed section um, versus uh, the core citations there. And also, if you notice in this screenshot here, um, there's actually no snippet. So it was just the title. Again, just things that are red flags that I wanted to kind of dig in uh, um, and find out what was going on there. So uh, the way I really dug in, because there's no AI search console, which I wrote another post about how we really need that across platforms. There's nothing where you can go in and just say, hey, what do, what are you seeing from a content standpoint for ChatGPT or Perplexity or Claude? So I use the AI itself. So you could actually go into ChatGPT and Perplexity and Claude and you know, paste a URL um, and say, hey, can you read the content here? If so, what's the first paragraph? What's the last paragraph? Whatever you want to ask it. And it was super interesting to see the responses, right? For example, ChatGPT, I wasn't able to directly extract text from the article at the URL you shared as the page appears to rely on JavaScript-based rendering. 
it's literally telling you that JavaScript based rendering is no good for what they're trying to do here. Um, I can't uh, re reliably confirm what the final line of the text is. It, if you can provide a visible text or screenshot, I'd be happy to help. Again, can't find it. Um, then I tested uh, more URLs from the site. ChatGPT again, it looks like I'm unable to retrieve the full text of the specific blank page via direct browsing. Unfortunately, the server's response appears minimal, perhaps due to access restrictions or dynamic content rendering. Again, JavaScript-based rendering, client-side rendering. Um, and just to show a comparison, um, I put in one of my uh, latest blog posts about the June Core update, and I said, hey, again, what's the final paragraph if you can read the content? And as you can see here, um, it is pulling in the content perfectly, um, including my ending, which are my initials, GG. So uh, then I moved to perplexity and basically did the same thing, right? And also perplexity came back and said, I can't reliably read or scrape the live contents of that web page within this chat. I can't, concern the, I can't confirm the exact last line of the text on the page right now. Again, having problems. But if I took one of Barry's posts on Search Engine Roundtable, which does not rely on JavaScript for the main content, um, it clearly came back and it described the first paragraph. Um, of the content. So again, it could find it. And again, you could see favicons are correct. Favicons are not correct with the page I was testing before in perplexity. Um, so you could see already ChatGPT and perplexity having problems with JavaScript based content. Then I went to Claude, did the same thing. Claude was even more descriptive when it was uh, providing response. Claude said, it appears page content didn't load in my fetch attempt. This sometimes happens with certain websites that have dynamic content or specific loading requirements. I was able to see the page title, but the main content didn't come through. So anyway, it went on to explain that it cannot find the content. And once again, as a control, I used my blog post for the June Core update. And again, it fetched the content and provided it right there in the response, including my initials again as the ending. Um, so as you can see now, Claude, Perplexity, and ChatGPT are having problems. So what I did was I found other sites heavily relying on JavaScript rendering, um, tested those, same deal. Here's the response from ChatGPT. I wasn't able to retrieve the content. The tool couldn't display any text from that page. It returned only the URL without visible content. Again, it's seeing a blank page. So I can't provide the first paragraph directly from that page. There you go. So I did this across a number of sites, by the way, that are heavily using JavaScript-based rendering, all with the same thing. So. This is a big problem. If you have a site that you are heavily using JavaScript-based rendering, client-side rendering, then you need to understand that if you want to rank in AI search, if you want the AI platforms to actually see your content, you need to make changes and soon. Um, so I, at the end of the post, I provide um, several bullets of what site owners can do now. I'll run through them really quickly. Test your site. Do exactly what I did. See what comes back. If you're heavily using JavaScript-based rendering for content, my guess is it's going to come back and say you can't see anything. Uh, next, test AI prompts on top content and queries already leading to your site from search. So again, go into you know, your top pages that are ranking in search, figure out what people may be entering, test that out, see how you rank, are favicons off, are there no snippets, are you not showing up in the main citations? Again, just red flags that something could be really wrong. Third, test specific URLs via prompts in ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Claude to see if they can find your content. So again, go in and say, hey, based upon this URL, give me the last paragraph, give me the first paragraph, whatever it may be. Um, fourth, meet with your dev team. Present Vercel's research and their findings that the AI platforms, most of them, uh, cannot actually uh, render JavaScript-based content. Uh, present my case study here and then your own testing. Right. So now you have three, you know, a three pronged approach to actually going to your dev team and saying, we need to make some changes here. And the changes really are, and it's the final bullet, as Vercel points out, don't use client side rendering unless you need it for specific things. Right. The idea of your entire web page relying on JavaScript based rendering is not the right approach, even for Google or banks. There are times that Google or Bing may not be able to retrieve the JavaScript, then it can't see any of your content. Maybe the next time it comes and it does see your content. Anyway, still not optimal for search, um, although Google and Bing can actually render JavaScript fine. Um, so anyway, go to your dev team and figure out 
uh, what you can do. And also, I mentioned this in the post early on, and I'll mention it now. Google and Bing can render JavaScript, so Gemini can actually uh, see JavaScript-based content. Um, AI overviews and AI mode, totally fine. Again, that's based on Google search, which can render uh, JavaScript-based content. And then, um, you know, from a Bing perspective, Bing can render JavaScript-based content. And then search with Copilot, which is kind of like the AI mode uh, for Bing, is totally fine because that could also uh, tap into Bing search index, right? So anyway, that's my post. Uh, definitely alarming if you are using a lot of JavaScript-based rendering for content. So meet with your dev team, do your testing, gather your data, and then implement changes. AI search is still a very small percentage of traffic overall to most sites. It's under 1% and under 0.5% for most of the sites I checked, but it's growing and it's growing rapidly. So it's going to keep increasing. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you can rank there. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ping me on X or LinkedIn um, or Blue Sky, you know, or send me an email if you have uh, questions about what's going on. Um, definitely try and tackle this as quickly as you can. So that's it. Um, until the next video, I appreciate you watching.